sometimes inspiration comes from the fact that we've dealt with something and we've gotten through it or we, we're getting through it. Today, we're going to talk about how being an athlete, a football athlete, can inspire you to get through the barriers of life and what that mental aspect of being a football athlete can do to you to ensure that you're able to grow, build, and achieve success. And I'm excited to be here with one of my guys, my frat brother, my guy Shaq. Super, super, super excited to have you on, man. So we're going to jump right into it. You are a champion. You are a multiple champion. And with that being said, there's a lot of things that go in that goes into a championship season. You have your ups and downs. Not everybody agrees. You have your wins and losses. How does being a part of a team, be, being a part of a regimen, a routine, that grind, how does that affect your mental state and your ability to be able to achieve winning and getting to the ultimate goal? Great question. So, you know, it really, it really starts, it really starts at like a personal level, like your, your, your dedication and your, your, uh, your preparedness, especially when it comes to a championship season. Um, in football, you know, when you feel good, when you feel confident, when you feel like, yeah, I've done this, I've done all of the necessary work, when you go on the field, it's it's all it's all it's all cake, it's all butter. After that, um, with when it comes to teammates, you have to have good people around you. You have to have good good like energy around you. There was a a picture I saw the other day, and it was a bowl of fruit, and it was one rot, it was one spoiled fruit, and how it kind of spreads to the other. Good energy works in the exact same way. It's not it's not only negativity. When you have good guys who are willing to when you're down, pick you up, and then when you can really call them your brothers. As you know, Stacy, Brandon, they play football with me, and those, those all soft rap brothers. But like, if I'm down, I can I can lean on somebody to just pick me up, uh, get you through it, get you through the next rep, get you through the next play. You can get hurt and and be aching and pain because football's a tough sport. It's rough. It's real, real rough. So you just gotta, you know, you gotta be able to have people to lean on, and then be able to actually work with them, and be able to put your ego aside. Because what football really teaches you, too, is that you're not always going to be the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, or the smartest, but you can, you can still work. And you got to put your ego aside and not let that take over because if you let that take over, it's, it's done for you. You're not going to be able to really grow or mature. You're not going to be able to be coachable. And being coachable is one of the biggest aspects of it, too. And that kind of relates to everything you do is being coachable. Hey, Shaq, that's great stuff. You can take that as an athlete, but you can also take that in real life. So that's yeah. amazing. Has being a part of a football family changed your life or affected your life personally? So the first, the first, first big thing I think is is dedication and being able to put hours in. So I work, I work in IT. So I, I work. I have to be real, real flexible. I have to be able to travel. I have to be able to learn on the spot because in, in the IT world, um, anytime you go to a new job or a new place. You're learning everything from free, everything from new. So you got to be able to reteach yourself, recoach yourself, uh, get accustomed to that um, environment and the, the people around you. Also, it all, football also gives you one big thing I think that some people are really missing is is a respect for authority. Mm. You you can understand when somebody's in that position of authority, like a coach or a mentor, and you won't you won't just just from what I've seen, you won't re you won't question it. Now, you, you won't question it as long as you know it makes sense to you and everything. You won't question it. And even if it doesn't make sense, as long as it's not harming you, as an athlete, you know, coaches actually do things all the time. They're just like, hey, this drill makes no sense, but I'm going to trust in the process. I'm going to keep it going. And you can relate that, relate that to life. Your, your boss asks you to come in 10 minutes early every day, and you're like, I don't understand what this is for. But you just trust in the process. It's nothing that's going to harm you. Waking up an extra 15, 10, 20 minutes a day, it's not going to harm you. But, it, but it's just the little things like that. And I think people in power, the people in those positions, those higher positions, they, 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 can, they can see that. They can relate to that. They can see when you're not, when you're not belligerent behind everything they say. You, they can see when you can take orders very well. And they can also see when you're free. Because you have to be able to think for yourself, but you also have to be able to take orders and take the, take the suggestions and not, not take it personally. I feel like a lot, not, not all non-athletes, but there are a lot of non-athletes who, when they're getting coached and they're talked to, they take it at a personal level instead of 
this person just wants me to see see me do well. And that goes back to take putting aside your ego. You don't know everything. And don't, you don't know everything and everything's not on you. You have people that you can lean on. You have people that you should be able to turn to for everything. And um, I actually have uh, an instance when, um, so I went to India for work for uh, a couple of months. Um, this was between before I started, before I started playing any pro ball, before I started playing in arena, I went to India for work and it was a culture shock, an amazing culture shock. But in that time I was there with another, a group of 10 15 other Americans, Americans work in the same industry as me, who get the same training. And in that and that is just some of these some of these guys that I went with her were genius level intelligence. Genius level. I, I consider myself a smart person. So these, <laughs> these people, these people were some of these people there were 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 amazing at what at especially in computers, amazing computers. And I learned so much just to be able to put my put my I'm usually some one of the smarter people when it comes to computer be able to put that aside and just be like teach me and this is not this is not me asking a manager or a senior member this is asking a peer hey how'd you do that hey how how's that work and and that's and that's that's something I feel like football gives you a whole whole lot of you see somebody do a move or you see something happen you, you even your when you really put your ego aside you can even ask your peers for help and not even worry about it. And there's no hate. There's all. It's all love. Nobody. Nobody thinks you're. Oh, I can't let this person because they're trying to get better than me. Everybody's there for the same, the same energy, the same goal. And when you get that team aspect, you know when everybody's there for the same goal. So you just kind of put that foot forward. Awesome, awesome. So here, here's a call to action for you guys for for this week, for today, for next month, for the rest of the year. Ask yourself. What are you really willing to do to succeed? Are you really dedicated to your craft, to your passion, to whatever it is you're looking to achieve? Are you willing to put your ego to the side to learn and to grow and to be mentored from someone who's already there? And then lastly, are you willing to be consistent? Dedication has so many layers to it, but in order to win a championship, in order to achieve greatness, in order to succeed at something, you have to first be consistent at it. Like Shaq said, you don't have to be the fastest. You don't have to be the most athletic. You don't have to be the best person in that position, in that field, in that industry. But if you are consistent, you will always win. Hey, listen, Shaq, tell the world who we talking to, man. I know, man, you... You, you're a Widener grad, but, you know, what division is Widener? What were your accolades at Widener? And what were your accolades as a professional? So at Widener, uh, Widener's D3, great balls. Top, when we played, when I played with, um, we were top 10, three, four years in a row, top 10, top 10. Um, I'm two-time all-region first team, uh, two-time all-ECA, ECAC, which is like another conference division. Uh, three-time first team all conference, uh, one-time first team all region. So I, I got got a couple of accolades. We won the MAP championship uh, two two out of the four years I was there. I was on a team that only had a total of eight losses in four years. Mm. It was uh, I think it was forty-eight wins and eight losses, or fifty-two wins and eight losses. So check, like that dedication, that hard work, it pays off. Awesome. That's awesome. Shaq, thank you so much for coming on, man. Giving the people the inspiration for this week, for today, for this month, for the rest of the year. There's a lot going on, guys. But there's people out here have, that have done it, that is doing it. And take, you football players out there, take what you're learning every day, whether you're at the high school level, the little league level, whether you're at the college level, or even at the professional level, and understand that that process that grind, that routine that you have, attach that to your personal life and realize that you will and can be successful. Just dedicate yourself, be consistent, be teachable and, and surround, make sure you're surrounding yourself with the, white pe with the right people on and off the field. In the meantime, guys, keep your head up, believe in yourself and remember you, you are only one opportunity away from achieving your wildest dreams. I'll see you all.